Well, hello everybody out there on YouTube again. This is Kent. I'm coming at you guys again with another YouTube video, and I'm gonna remake this video, all right? That I did, that I did, you know, up here on my old channel, all right? You know, I want to talk. Let's talk about rejection again, all right? I, you know, I'll probably get, in this video, I'll probably get more thumbs down, more thumbs down than thumbs up in this video. I really don't care. I'm gonna say how I feel. It just pisses me. It, it pisses me off just thinking about this. All right, you know. You know if you're if you're a guy out there, and you constantly deal with, and you constantly you know you constantly deal with rejection over and over and over again. Every woman that you try to ask out, you know they won't give you a chance. They just say no. That's very difficult for a guy to deal with, man. You know, being rejected your whole entire life. You know, it can mess with you mentally. You know, it, it can mess with you mentally. And I'm gonna say this too. A lot, see, a lot, of, a lot of people don't understand this too. Rejection can cause low self-esteem. It really can. Rejection can cause low self-esteem. It caused me to have low self-esteem. It make it, it, it's like, it's like, these women they force me to be alone. All right, by rejecting me. You know, I could be myself, be nice and all that stuff, but I really feel that doesn't do any good. That doesn't do any good at all. If I be nice and I be myself and I be who I am, it doesn't do any good. Because I, I feel, you know, if you're a guy, you know, if women just don't, you know, if women just don't like your personality, then you just don't stand a chance, man. And I'm going to keep on saying this over and over and over again. You just don't stand a chance. Because I know I don't stand a chance. I don't stand a chance at all, man. Because. Because I'm a loser. To a certain degree, I am a loser, man. I'm a loser. And for you, and for you guys who s call me a loser, you know what? I agree with you. I completely, I completely agree with you, 100%. I am a loser, man. I just don't stand a chance with a woman, man. Cause, cause me, I, I you know, uh, I don't want to brag in this video, but you know, I'm a good person. You know, I'm a good-hearted person. I care about other people, things like that. But, you know, women don't want men that, you know, has feelings, that has that has emotions. Women don't want men like that. Women want men who got nothing going for themselves. Them, oh, sorry, dusty-looking wannabe thugs. It's stupid. Stupid, man. Just me thinking about this pisses me off, man. All the times how women, you know, were cruel to me. All the times how women rejected me, man. Here's, okay. If you guys didn't know the story, I'm going to share the same stories over and over again. I don't care. This is my YouTube channel. I say what I want. I say how I feel. All right? The time of May, May of 2014. May of 2014. Was it May? May. It was May of 2014. Last year, I was in the mall, right? I was in I was in the mall, and I really liked it. I really liked it. A young lady, um, you know, she worked for Direct TV. You know, I tried to ask her out. She really, she really, um, she really acted like she was she was interested in me. All right, she acted like she was really inter interested in me. All right. You know, and and I really asked, you know, if it's okay, you know, if I can have your number and things like that. And I told her, cause she acted like she was interested in me, all right? Cause maybe I could take you out to move, take you out to a movie, or or take you out to eat or something like that. It's like she's like, sure, 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 okay, not a problem, you know. All right, she gonna write the phone number on my hand, all right, or on my left hand. She write the phone number on my left hand, all right. And you know what she gonna do? She gonna write a fake phone number. I didn't. I didn't know it was a fake phone number. All right. I didn't know. And she lied and said that she was because it had a different error code on where I stay at. And she said that she was from that city. All right. And she she lied about that. Okay. She lied about that. You know. Um. I, you know about you know 
you know later on in the evening you know when it, when it's during nighttime you know uh i tried to call that number i tried to call that number you know and it said it, you know it, so it said that this number is disconnected or this number is not available or something like that you should know what she did she gave me a fake phone number you don't do that to me you don't disrespect me like that It just it, it just pisses me off just even thinking about it. Thinking about it. I feel that's the most disrespectful thing that a woman can do to a man. If a man is if a, if a if a man is interested in you, all right? He's showing feelings and show emotions and you uh you give him a fake phone number? Are you kidding me? A fake phone number? You know, and, and you call it, you know, it was a fake phone number. That's the most, that hurts. You know, that really, really, really hurts. You know, I, you know, I'm very terrified of this, man. I'm so, I am so terrified of rejection, man. I'm serious, man. Because, cause you know what happens? Because a, a lot of these women will pass me up. Pass me up. A good-hearted person. A good person, a nice person, a respectful person for some no good, sorry, wanna be thugs who got a criminal record. All the bad qualities. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right? Man, oh man, oh man. You know, here's another thing. I've been stood up too. I don't know if you guys know that story. I had asked to go out to a movie one time. All right, I asked to go out to a movie one time, and you know she acted like she was in interested in me. A lot of these women will lie to you and act fake in front of you. They're not really real with you. These women, these women will play with a guy's emotions. He don't do that. Okay, okay. What I was saying, what I was saying, what I was saying. All right. The girl was interested in me, right? She she acted like she pretended she was interested in me, okay? You know, um, you know, I say, you know, if you wanna catch a movie, this this, you know, was it Saturday night or something like that? I said they say, Yeah, sure, not a problem. You know, I'll be at this movie at, at such and such time, all right? All right, I'll go and drive my car to the movie theater, right? Drive my car, my own car. All right, she said she has her own car too. All right, so we was gonna meet, all right. And, uh, you know, I've been waiting, you know, I think it was 7 o'clock, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, I waited. It was 7 o'clock, you know, 7.05 didn't show up. You know, okay, 7.30 she didn't show up. 7.45 didn't show up. 8 o'clock she didn't show up. 8.30 she didn't show up. And she, and she stood me up, man. She disrespected me. You don't stand anybody up. Just tell them that you're not interested in them. Just tell him. You don't go and disrespect somebody like that. You don't disrespect me. I'll put women in their place. You don't disrespect me. And another woman. Another stupid, st stupid women who thinks who think it's funny, who think it's who thinks it's funny to use men, to use men for his hard-earned money that he worked for. Okay, I have a story. Another story. This woman has taken advantage of me. This woman has has taken my kindness for weakness. Right. All right. Okay. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. All right, you know she made up some type of stupid lie. Cause all, cause all these women do is lie. They're liars, a lie from the pit of hell. Cause women are liars. All right, all right. Back to the story. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. Women are liars. All right. Back to what I was saying. Oh my goodness, this will piss me off. All right. You know, I liked it. I liked it a woman. Okay, I liked it a woman. 
and she um she she made up some type of lie and said that you know oh Ken I need some money to help to help me and my to help me and my mom pay the rent things like that I was a teenager at the time when this happened I was a teenager you know and, you know she said she lied said she needed money to pay the rent they're about to get evicted from their apartment all this crap all these all these lies all right you know what I did I was so stupid enough to give her money stupid I was stupid All right, and I believed her. I believed her. Gave her money. I gave her about thirty bucks. All right. I asked her, you know, we could hang out sometimes. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see. You don't really want to hang out with me. All you want is my money. Cause I had a job at the time. I just got my first job at the time. When I was a teenager. All right. I was about fifteen or sixteen years old. All right. She kept on asking me for money, all right? She kept on asking She kept, she kept on asking All these loud cars passing by. She kept, she kept asking me for money, right? And I, and I continued, you know, to give her money and things like that. I continued, I continued to do that. You know, give her money. And you know, I didn't know better. I didn't know better at the time. I was a, I was just a stupid person. I was very stupid. I beat myself up for it just thinking about it. I beat myself up for it. I'm stupid for doing that. You know, at one time, at one time, I told her that, you know, that I wasn't going to give her money anymore. Okay, I wasn't going. I wasn't. I wasn't going to give her money anymore. You know, um, another car passing by. I wasn't going to give her any money anymore. Is she going to say, "Oh, don't talk to me anymore"? Bye. That really shows you that a woman was using me for my hard-earned money. You don't do that to a guy. Any guy, you don't disrespect them like that. You know, it just it just really pisses me off. It really pisses me off, you know, just thinking about it. Thinking about it. It pisses me off. That really shows you that I'm a loser and women, it's very easy for women to take advantage of me. It's very easy for women to take my kindness for weakness. If I was some no, if I was some thug who had my pants sagging, she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that at all. If I if I walk around my pants sagging, smell, you know, smoking weed and smoking marijuana, because I don't I never smoke weed in my life. I never smoke weed, I never smoke marijuana in my whole entire life. All right, don't don't tell me to smoke weed or sm or smoke marijuana because I'll never will. I never smoked anything in my life. I I've, I've been clean and sober my whole entire life. Okay. If I just just an example, if I walk around my pants sagging, wearing baggy clothes, baggy jeans, all right, and uh. You know, I smell like weed and all that stuff, and I was cussing and have the gold teeth and all the fake diamonds and all that crap in my mouth. I bet she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do it. Because women like men who dress like that, who dress like thugs. Pretty boys. Wannabe thugs, excuse me. Pretty boys and wannabe gangsters. It just pisses me off thinking about it. I don't want to yell again in this video. But. I'm a loser. 
I don't stand a chance with the woman. Most guys, any guy who's watching my video now, you have a better chance than me. Oh, we have a way better chance than me because you're a winner and I'm a loser. You know what? That's all. That's all I got to say in this video. I'm out. You know, I'm kind of. I'm getting pissed off right now. I'm out.